Now here we have our amazing facial mask for brightening the skin. Now you want to cleanse your skin before and then you are going to just pour that mask in your hands. You can choose to use a brush but for this mask I prefer to use my hands. Once you pour it in your hands you are going to apply the mask all over the skin. So apply it on your skin like you are washing your face with the mask. Totally cover your face with the mask and this is good for the neck and the closed tea also. Now do not let this one get in your eyes. So cover your face with the mask like I'm showing here. Once you apply the mask on the skin, we're looking to brighten the skin. So I like to go back in and I like to just rub it on my skin as if I'm exfoliating my skin. So I rub the mask all over my skin cleansing the skin, clearing blackheads, whited from the skin. And once this is done, what I tend to do for the mask, I pour a generous amount of the mask and then I apply it on my skin a second time. This time I'm going to leave it on my skin for about 30 minutes. So step one is to exfoliate your skin with the mask and step two is to apply more mask on your face. Leave it on the skin for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you are going to rinse off. So in this video I'm going to share a recipe of a facial scrub that can also be used as a facial mask. It is an anti-aging facial scrub that is known to help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. I am using ingredients that are known for fighting wrinkles. They are rich in antioxidant, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. If you're looking for a facial scrub that can be doubled as a facial mask, do not click off, continue watching the video. For this recipe, we're gonna use a blender. If you do not have a small blender, go ahead and use a grater. And you're also gonna need a strainer. Now here is my skin brightening ingredient. This is tomato. Tomato contain lipopene, which will help to brighten the skin, remove dark spots and blemishes. Also, tomato will help to get rid of dead skin cells. If you have large pores, it will help to clean those pores out, shrink the pores, and leave the skin just bright. Now, when you come on to the tomato, you can just choose to cut the tomato like I'm showing here. And you can take the tomato and you can just rub it all over your face, your neck and your decollete like I'm showing here. Rub the tomato and this you do every day for seven days and it will help to lighten and brighten the skin and fade dark spots. However, not everyone can use the strong tomato juice on the skin so make sure to test before you use. Now another way to use the tomato for clearing hyperpigmentation is to make it the way I'm showing you right now. Now I'm going to be blending the tomato, so I'm going to use a half of a small tomato. And I'm going to cut mine in small pieces for easier blending. If you do not have a blender at this stage, you go ahead and you grate the tomato. And you can use any type of tomato. So now reach for the blender. We're not adding any water to this, we're going to blend as is. So now we're going to reach for our strainer, place it over the bowl, and we're going to strain our tomato puree, and we're going to strain. So go ahead and strain. Here we have our tomato puree, nice and smooth. And you can go ahead, guys, and you can also use this directly on the skin for hyperpigmentation. However, today we're using it to make a facial mask. Now, our first ingredient is rose water, and we're using the rose water to cut down on the acidity of the tomato. However, this will not change the potency, the strength of the tomato. We're using about a teaspoon of the rose water. 
and we're gonna mix this in mixing this in the tomato juice next I'm gonna reach for some oil today I'm using coconut oil however you can use any oil you have olive oil sweet almond oil grapeseed oil avocado oil I'm using the coconut oil because it's good for pigmentation and hydrating the skin. I'm using a teaspoon of the coconut oil for this end. Use a teaspoon of any other oil that you're using. And we're gonna mix this in. So we're mixing the oil in the tomato. And take a look, this is what it's gonna look like. Now once this is done, we have one final ingredient. And take a look at my final ingredient. Here I have some plain unsweetened yogurt. Yogurt will help to clear hyperpigmentation, get rid of dead skin salve, soften the skin, and also help your skin to look healthier, free from wrinkles and fine lines. If you don't have yogurt, you can use sour cream or you can use some curd. We're starting off with one rounded tablespoon of yogurt. And we're gonna mix this in. We're not blending this, guys. I prefer to whisk the yogurt in. So totally whisk in. If it's too watery, go ahead and add a little more. However, this look roundabout right. So completely get rid of any lumps from the yogurt. Mix well. Now you can choose to store the tomato juice in the refrigerator for seven days. However, once you had the yogurt, use it up within three days. So you can make tomato juice and when you're ready to use it, you just add the yogurt. And still have a little lump in it. Let's get that all out. Do not use flavored yogurt for this. Unsweetened yogurt is best. Now once this is done, we're gonna reach for our storage jar and we're gonna pour this in our storage jar. Now this mask is good to use on your skin two to three times per week for best result. If you have sensitive skin, remember to patch test before you use. So go ahead, brighten the skin in seven days. If you use it three times for the week, you should see some brightening to the skin. With continuous use, however, you will notice a significant difference to your skin. When this is done, guys, go ahead and make a batch.